In order to provide effective neonatal resuscitation, it is paramount that you check the equipment is working. Switch on the resuscitator, turn on the light and make sure you have adequate heat. You can see on the dial how you can adjust the heat power accordingly. Start the clock immediately and note the time of events. When you receive the baby, it is important to dry the baby and then wrap the baby in a clean, warm towel. Once the baby is in a nice, clean, warm towel, you need to expose sufficient amount of the baby in order for you to visualise the infant's chest. Assess colour, tone, breathing and heart rate. It is important to use a stethoscope as gold standard when auscultating the infant's heart rate. If the baby has no heart rate or the heart rate is less than 60 and the baby is not breathing, you must give five inflation breaths, sustaining the inflation pressure to 30 centimetres of water for two to three seconds. Following this, if the chest has risen, reassess for tone, colour, breathing and heart rate. If the heart rate is still below 60 or absent, commence compressions, a third of the depth of the infant's chest at a ratio of three compressions to one ventilation and continue this procedure for 30 seconds. You can see how it is important to compress the infant's chest a third of the depth. Following 30 seconds of this sequence, it is important to reassess. If the baby's heart rate is above 60 and improving and present, however the baby is not breathing, continue with ventilation breaths at a ratio of 30 breaths per minute. Again, within 30 seconds of completing this, you must reassess again colour, tone, breathing and heart rate.